Welcome back. I'm so excited to have Robin Devine of Lymph Balance Centers, and she's going to be talking about owning your passion for growing your business. Welcome. I'm Elena Radakovic, and this is We Do Pay It Forward. Welcome back, everyone. I am so excited to introduce my next guest, Robin Devine of Lymph Balance Center. Such a very cool niche market business that she started. Welcome. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you. So tell me, you have been doing this for 18 years. Yes. Your business has been around for six years now. Mm -hmm. What made you take the plunge from working for someone to going ahead and starting your own business? It's definitely a fun sort of jump. It's one of those things that, um, you know, I, I started in massage therapy. So of course, you know, a lot of times we work for other chiropractors, we work for clinics, um, we work for ourselves, which is great. Um, but yeah, you get to that point where you literally just, you can't help enough people. And so you get to that point where you go, you know what, I need to collect a group of people who are very similar minded, mm -hmm who like doing similar things so we can help a larger number of people. So for me, that was in 2017, 2018, and literally, I just took a huge plunge and I just jumped right in. So that was the big thing. I just, I couldn't see the number of people that I wanted to see to help by myself. And I love that. You took something that's, and I gotta say, there are quite a bit of massage therapists out there, but Tons. what you did in your training is yeah. narrowed down. It's really for uh, acute care in a sense, right? Yeah. And now you have two clinics. So why don't you talk about the journey going from like one to two? How? What are some of the tidbits that you could offer to our audience when you're looking to grow your business? Well, and it's one of those things that you really, the more you can get into figuring out how to educate your niche, because that's the thing. As a massage therapist, everybody knows about massage. Everybody understands, you know, how to book a massage, who they need to see. They have sore backs, they have sore necks, but lymph issues is where you have swelling concerns. It's where you have lymph nodes that have been removed or you've had radiation therapy. And so, you know, the first four or five years has been just educating the living daylights out of anybody who needs to understand what we do because you know, nowhere in my business name does it say massage and, yes. right? So right. the great part is that people who are looking for it, find it. And those who don't, we have to do a lot of the educating pieces. So we did, we got to a certain point where we had like 16 amazing therapists and we were really getting um, a lot of traction, a lot of build. But of course, this is also during the time frame where we got shut down for a period of time. So that sort of happened. Um, but we also know that people, when they have lymph issues, don't do well traveling long distances. So having one location in one area of the city and then making people have to travel from far away. And because we're as niche, we do. We have people who travel from very far away. We have people travel from Jasper, from the United States, from Saskatchewan, from Fort McMurray. So that's a long time to sit in a car, which builds more swelling. So for us, it was, it was about the need to create accessibility for our patients. And so we took another nice big jump of faith and opened up the second location. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And I, I know from experience, uh, my best friend went through it. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember she had a lot of pain and trying to find someone, she was in Ontario, that could alleviate the pain that she was going yeah. through um, is very hard. So I, I think it's incredible um, what you're doing and I, and I, and I'd love to see more. Does that mean mm. you're gonna have more clinics if you wanna help others? That is the goal, because right now we are sort of this little, we call ourselves a limpy corn, like a little unicorn of uniqueness. <laughs> that is what we do. And uh, and because of what we do, and because of how niche it is, that's that's the, the big need, is that you can't find people who do it. So yeah, our goal wasn't to have two in Calgary, but of course it just, it worked out that way, which is great, but yeah, absolutely, I have, this beautiful long-term dream of finding other therapists who are as equally passionate, geeky, nerdy as you will, <laughs> to continue that sort of passion and that accessibility for patients across the whole country. So I'd love to see a lymph balance center in every major city. So, you know, hit Vancouver and let's go to Regina and let's go to Montreal and, you know, Fredericton, all those places where 
people literally don't have access to a therapist, let alone a team of people right. to work together. Now, you are you creating a, you, you said you have a strategy that you want to have in every city. Yeah. What are some of the steps? So if there, we have somebody in our audience who has say one business or possibly two, and they're looking to expand their business across Canada. Mm -hmm. Can you walk through some of the steps that you're going to be doing or that you've already taken to look at opening up other uh, centers? Well, and that's kind of the hard piece is figuring out where to go, right? And so I think the biggest thing for us has really been trying to figure out what are our systems? How do we take what we do on a regular basis, all the successes that we've created, and how do we make that adaptable and trainable for the continuation of those those services and the the success that we've had and so it's creating those systems in place to make sure that it's replicatable right. and so that's always been a big piece but um, for myself it's you know advocating and just being on every potential platform and I've started my own health conference because of it because there's wow. not a lot of opportunities so that's given me such amazing platform to be able to meet therapists from across the entire country and so you find those other geeks that are out there that love the lymphatic system as much as I do and it allows for me to start cultivating in different areas across the country because I love my city and I have no intention to necessarily move but um, I mentor therapists across the entire country so it's just finding the right the right gems and to cultivate and to continue the quality of service. I love that. Yeah. So have your processes and procedures yes. and then to ensure that you've got the proper training, right? Mm -hmm. Because And for people who have the passion, all that you need is they have the basic training. Now you're going to go and collaborate with them and provide them the other educational training so you could have successful centers yeah. across Canada. It's a long Fantastic. process to learn and niche, niche is unique. Like yeah. there are, like you said, oh. thousands of massage clinics and therapists across, you know, every city. And so the hardest part is just educating the daylights out of the general public and people who don't know about your services or what they are. And that in itself is a lot of work. And so the great place is that we've really created a lot of that already. It's not having to be rebuilt and right. you know, don't recreate the whole wheel. If somebody's already done a phenomenal job of creating something, use it. Mm -hmm. And that's the great part is not taking on every task as something that you have to recreate and growing with everybody else at the same time. Was there, when you went from one to two, was there a hurdle that you learned from that you could share that someone else doesn't have to do and that you probably won't do when you open up your other clinics? You know, I'm gonna tell you the one thing that I learned the most about owning my own clinic is unless you have a group of people who all own the clinic together. So if you're a solo person and you're owning the business and it's your baby and you put your money and you put your time into it, the one thing I learned is um, not to expect that anybody else will care about it as much as you will. I spent years just racking my brain. Why, why don't they want to come in and help me on a day off? Why don't they want to you know, spend extra time in an evening building this together? Don't they get like how important this is? And I realized it's because they literally have no skin in the game. Right. And that was like, I think it was four years. And I, I sat there one day and I could not get out of my seat. I was like, this is the moment that I never realized is that you have to, you have to bring on people who are as passionate and who see it, but unless they have the skin in the game, unless they're like financially invested in the success, it's a job. Mm -hmm. And I just, I'd never put that together. And so going into the second clinic and going forward, I don't have that expectation. I'm not delusional, which has made it so much easier. So you brought, so they all have a stake into it? They all, well, they're either, they're contractors, they're okay. employees, and that's great. Yep. And that's where I now don't over expect. Oh, I, I have see. reasonable okay. expectations going forward. And that's, that's the thing is you need to, you need to build the team with the right expectations. And I didn't have that from the beginning. So the first four years was extremely frustrating, but that was on me. 100 percent the entrepreneurial mindset exactly not necessarily people have that that's right and i just you do and a lot of massage therapists think oh no i'm an entrepreneur i'm gonna work for myself and that's great and most of them aren't 
and they, they want to be and I really applaud that, but the time and energy and the money and the dedication and the tireless effort is, it's, it has to be a passion. And so it's, it's not saying that they can't be a part of your team, it's not saying that they can't be there, it's understanding the expectation from yourself to what they're going to be bringing to the table. And that's okay. But if you don't realize that, yeah. you get really disappointed really fast oh, and feel very much yeah. alone in it all. But right. no, I, it was a big turning point for me and it's been, it's been much better since. Oh. So it makes it a lot easier to look at opening other locations and to working with other professionals knowing that. So. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Um, I love the fact that you're so passionate um, in your, I'm going to call it your trade, right? Because yeah. it's so unique and I, and I love that. And I, I offer you huge success. Thank I think you. it's going to be phenomenal. I, and if, if you're an entrepreneur and you're listening, mm -hmm. find that niche, follow your passion, find that niche and, uh, and don't give up. Thank you so much, Robin. Thank you. I really appreciate your time. Where can someone get a hold of you in your clinic? Yeah, so we have uh, two wonderful um, clinics here in the city of Calgary. Um, you can find us on our website, which is www.lymphbalance, so L-Y-M-P-H, balance.com. Um, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, etc. And uh, we have an amazing YouTube channel, which allows for people to learn more about the lymphatic system, learn more about um, the techniques and all the home care and all the stuff that we're able to provide as a team. And uh, yeah, so, so many ways. Oh, so, wonderful. Yeah. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. Bye. Thank you to our sponsors, Caitlin Bullock and Adam Calizetti of Enta Solutions for paying it forward for the next generation of women entrepreneurs and business leaders. If you are inspired and want to join the We Do community, then go on wedocanada.com and also nominate and sponsor the next inspirational woman.